If you remember Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, Indiana Jones and the uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, first of all, when Indiana Jones is going out to look for the Lost Ark, we're talking about the Ark of the Covenant, where's the first place he goes to? He goes to Tibet. Now, why would you go to Tibet if you're looking for the Hebrew Lost Ark of the Covenant? Well, it's because Tibet has something very, very important connected to that symbol of the Ark of the Covenant. You better go back and look at the Buddhists and the Tibetans to understand the Ark of the Covenant, period. Second, where does he go? Once he goes to Tibet, who does he find up in Tibet looking for the lost Ark if it isn't a Nazi? And consequently, where did, where did they go from there? He goes directly to the Holy Land to look for the lost Ark of the Covenant. No, he goes to Egypt. Why Egypt? It's because Steven Spielberg has many things, but stupid ain't one of them. He goes to Egypt because the whole idea of the, of the lost Ark is Egyptian, not Hebrew. A thousand years before Hebrews were ever in the area called Egypt, they had, the Egyptians had something called the Ark of the Contract. The Ark of the Contract, which I will show you, the Ark of the Contract was a box with two angels' wings, uh, with wings over it, and it was an Egyptian symbol, and it symbolized a contract that the pharaohs had made with the gods who came down here from Sirius, from the, from the ancient star system of Sirius. They were called, and Sirius is called the Dog Star. And consequently, you take dog, D-O-G, and turn it around for us, it becomes God. G-O-D is dog spelled backwards. It goes back to Sirius, the dog star. It goes back to Anubis in, in the Egyptian. So that the, the Ark of the Contract became known as the Ark of the Covenant. No, it's the Ark of the Contract, and it was a thousand years before Hebrews ever had it. Now, this is the uh, Ark of God. Uh, you'll see this is the New York State Seal. In New York, the uh, State of New York Seal, you will see in the middle is the Lost Ark of the Covenant. Here it is, the Ark of the Covenant. You remember this from Indiana Jones and the Raiders of the Lost Ark? And, uh, Here it is again. <clears throat> Incidentally, the uh, ark, the box itself represented the female, uh, the female, the ability to give life. And so the priest would drop blood in front of the ark, representing the menstrual cycle of the female, because it had again to do with sex. <clears throat> So we see uh, bringing the, the, the Ark of the Covenant, okay? Now from Smith's Bible Dictionary, we're given to understand that the, the box with the handles and the angel's wings, etc. Uh, Smith's Bible Dictionary. In Smith's Bible Dictionary, look up the word Ark. thought I had a larger. Anyway, the word was adopted from the Egyptian. There's an Egyptian ark. It goes on to say that the ark was a ark of the contract in Egypt, which was copied later by the Hebrews and called the Ark of the Covenant. Here's a dictionary of the Bible, another one, and there again, you look up the word ark and it will tell you it was an Egyptian ark. The Egyptians had and came up with the idea of a sacred ark. <clears throat> there is the ark that was found in King Tutankhamun's uh, tomb when they found the tomb of King Tut. There is uh, King Tutankhamun's ark that was found in his tomb. Here it is again. You will see the Egyptians carrying uh, the ark. Again, you will see um, at the top left, they're carrying the, the holy ark. This is the Egyptian, not Hebrew. This is a thousand years before Hebrews were ever even near Egypt. They had the lost ark. Now, 